In today's lesson, you will learn English phrasal verbs that use the word hit. Hello again, Real Fluency friends. I'm Tricia, and I'm here to teach you real English used in real life so that you can reach Real Fluency now. And today, I will teach you some phrasal verbs with the word hit, including hit up and hit on. But first, let's review definitions of the word hit used by itself. The first definition, you probably know that's pretty simple, tr pretty straightforward, just to hit, like to hit something, to hit yourself, to hit, to strike something. The second meaning is to affect something in a bad or damaging way, as in the farms were hit hard by the drought. It can also mean to suddenly understand something, as in I didn't understand what she was talking about, but then it suddenly hit me, and then I understood. It can also mean to get or to reach a level or a goal, as in I'm really hoping I will hit 1,000 YouTube subscribers really soon. Or it can mean to turn something on or off with a switch, like, could someone please hit the lights? Or he hit the brakes pretty hard. I'm not doing idioms with the word hit in this lesson, but you might be interested in listening to a song by Pat Benatar called Hit Me With Your Best Shot. The phrase, hit me with your best shot, when used literally, means to hit someone as hard as you can. Used figuratively, it means more to dare someone to hurt you or challenge you in some way because you feel stronger and tougher and aren't afraid of what they might do to you. A link to watch the video is up here. You can wait if you want and watch it later when my lesson is done. Just click the little smaller I. Or also there is a link to the, in the, to the video in the description of my video below this. Hit can also be used as a noun. And I will go over uh, a couple common uses of it as a noun. First one is when it's used to describe something being hit, usually used with the word take, as in, now if you know what you're worth, then go out and get what you're worth. But you've got to be willing to take the hits and not pointing fingers. Now that's from the movie Rocky Balboa. And if you'd like to listen to that section of the movie, it's on YouTube. You can just, again, click up here. And you can watch it now or wait until my video is over and you can click it and watch it or click on the link to it that's also in the description below my video. It can also refer to something that is very successful as in that song was a big hit for Pat Benatar. Ow! Ow! I wish these subscribe buttons would stop hitting me. Oh. You think you're a tough button, do you? Well, hit me with your best shot. Knock me down, and I'll get back up on my feet again. And I'll just hit you back, yeah. So please, if you're watching this, rescue me from these subscribe buttons. Maybe if I had at least a thousand subscribers, they would stop hitting me. Okay, as a phrasal verb, the first phrasal verb we'll go over is hit on or hit on someone. This means to talk or flirt with someone because you are attracted to them. A sample sentence is, every time she goes to conferences, there are many men hitting on her. Hit it off means to get along with or to have a good relationship with someone soon after you meet them, as in, they met last month and really hit it off right away and are now engaged to be married. Hit back can have a literal meaning as just really to hit back, but it can also mean to respond strongly in response to criticism, as in, they said his company wouldn't meet its goals for the year, but he hit back by tweeting, place your bets. To hit upon something means to suddenly have an idea. Um, this is related to the definition, the third definition that I went over earlier. A sample sentence is, 
he's been working he's been working really hard on that problem and I think he may have finally hit upon a solution to hit someone up is to ask someone for money or maybe something else as in he's always hitting me up for more money I'm sorry but I really should review a little bit of grammar now even though it is really boring but don't worry it won't take too long so to hit someone up is an example of a separable phrasal verb if a phrasal verb if a phrasal verb is separable it means you can separate the two words and put a direct object in the middle to hit on someone is an example of a transitive phrasal verb it needs a direct object after hit on using the sentence from earlier every time she goes to conferences there are many men hitting on her and you can't say every time she goes to conferences there are there are many men hitting on you can't end it like that it just sounds incomplete and you need the direct object at the end okay see I told you that would be short and simple into the boring part it's time for some practice exercises fill in the blanks with one of the phrasal verbs used in this lesson number one I'm hoping that if I ever meet him will really blank number two at first I thought he was just talking to me to be nice but now I think that he was trying to what number three if I keep working hard maybe someday I will blank a way to get a lot of YouTube subscribers want to learn more phrasal verbs a friend of mine named Anne who also teaches English online recently made a lesson about seven phrasal verbs used in presentations you can watch her English lesson subscribe and subscribe to her channel up here would you like more English practice then please practice using the word hit in the comments and I'll give you some feedback on your writing and that's almost all for today's lesson please subscribe to my YouTube channel if you haven't done that yet you can do that with the little circle button over there um, you can also sign up to get emails and more English help from me over there and that's completely free and if you have time then please stay and watch more of my English lessons here on YouTube goodbye and remember with hope anything is possible